Hey, what's up everyone? How's everyone feeling today? This is Mark Perry back at you with another video. And today's topic, I'm gonna to give you three ways of how you can find cash buyers. That's today's topic, let's dive right in. So, three ways that you can find cash buyers. Number one way is through Craigslist. Now, in your city or in your market, you can get on Craigslist and you can find these buyers. All you do is get on Craigslist and you type in fix and flip investing, uh, wholesale discounted properties, uh, buy and hold, uh, rental properties. Type in these on Craigslist. And then as you type in these on Craigslist, you'll start to see individuals on there that have ads up. A lot of times they will be wholesalers, but there will be cash buyers on there as well. Now keep in mind, you wanna get everybody on your team because if you can't build your buyer list to the status that you wanna build it to, you want to be able to get these wholesalers on your team to where if you get a property under contract, you can offsort it to them. And then if they got a big buyer's list, they can sell it for you. So that just puts a lot of stress off you to where if you don't have a buyer's list, they can help you out with that. So that's number one. Number two is you can get on Facebook groups. Facebook groups in your area to where, let's say if you live in, let's say uh, Missouri or if you live in Florida, if you live in Atlanta, Georgia, you just go to Facebook groups and you say, Wholesaling, wholesaling investors uh, groups in Facebook on you know Atlanta or uh, fix and flip investors in Atlanta, those type of things. So you type in the groups, you go to the group. What's going to happen is whenever you go to these groups, the groups are going to um, they're going to accept your invite. So it'll probably take a little while before they accept it. Once they accept it, you get up on uh, the group, you put up in the chat like, hey, you know, looking for great discount properties. Hey, if you have any uh, deals, let me know. Or you can type in, hey, you know, I'm looking for a lot of cash buyers. I have a few deals coming up soon. So if you're looking to buy properties in this area, feel free to send me a DM. And you'll notice that once you do that, you'll get about 30 to 40 individuals that will directly send you their email. You'll see all those emails on there. You take all those emails and you put it on your spreadsheet. And then once you do get a deal, you can send it out to all those individuals. Now keep in mind, everybody won't be a cash buyer. Now, in the world we live in today, there's a lot of wholesalers, but that's okay because you want to get them on your team just in case you don't have the big buyers list to sell your deals to your investors. So if you got about 20 to 30 cash buyers, you sent your deal out to the cash buyers. Now, if nobody bite on that deal, you can start sending them out to the other wholesalers to where if they got a big buyers list, they can sell the deal for you. So keep in mind, you always want to be able to put other wholesalers on your team. Even if you are a wholesaler, you definitely want to put other wholesalers on your team. You either split the profit with them or you can tell them like, hey, they have to put their spread on top of the purchase price. That's number two way. Number three way is you can go to real estate meetings. Real estate meetings, and, uh, and this is the best way because a lot of times when you go to these real estate meetings, you're going to be private lenders, call money lenders, and you're going to be a lot of cash buyers. So these are the ways that you can go to these real estate meetings, let's say in your backyard, you start going to real estate meetings and you'll start networking with other investors. Now you're gonna meet a lot of wholesalers there, a lot of rehabbers, a lot of, uh, a lot of um, buy and hold investors. But you wanna make sure that you have business cards ready and you wanna make sure that you can connect with them. And the more that you send your business cards out to individuals and you get their business cards, you definitely wanna put that into your spreadsheet or put that into your database to where you can start sending deals to them. So those are the typical three ways that I use, that I experienced whenever I started building my buyers list was through Craigslist, was through Facebook groups, and was through real estate meetings. Now, with the whole pandemic going on, there's not a lot of real estate meetings going on, so a lot of stuff will be virtual, but even that's even better because if you can get on a virtual call with a lot of investors, you can start building relationships as well. So through and all in all, the game is really just building a relationship with investors and really just putting if you don't have a deal yet and you want to be able to continue to have buyers, continue to put the, the information out there anyway. Say, hey, I'm looking for off-market opportunities, I'm looking for discount properties, who has properties, or you can put, hey, we're actually starting to come across some properties here soon. Uh, DM me if you're looking for off-market deals, we're starting to get some good ones. Just put those out there, even if you don't have them, just to get people on board. And then once you have them, then people will be on board and then they'll start to do business with you. So that was my uh, quick video today. And uh, keep in mind as well, don't be discouraged if individuals tell you like, hey, you just need to go focus on cash buyers. 
Um, focus on with everyone. Focus on everyone that you can build relationships with and uh, continue to build those relationships and you'll have a lot of cash bars, you'll have a lot of investors that you can sell your deals to quickly, easy, and effectively. So that's all I got today. Also as well, if you can relate to this channel, please hit that notification, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'd love to share more content with you and uh, make it a blessed day. And I'll talk to you on the side. Thank you.